Mikey? Is that you, Mandy? Yeah. Sorry, I can't see. That's because your hair is too long. You need a haircut. But I don't like to get a haircut. I know how you feel. Lots of people don't like getting their hair cut. And Marvel doesn't like haircuts either. <laughs> Do you get a haircut at a barber shop or a hair salon? Mikey, Marvel, and I can show you what happens and what to say and do. Ready? Then let's go! Get a haircut! Hi, Mandy. What are you doing? I'm brushing Marvel. I don't like when someone brushes my hair. I understand. But it doesn't hurt, does it, Marvel? Some people are a little scared when people brush or cut their hair. And that's okay. But you can learn to not be afraid, just like our friend Alex. Alex didn't like getting his hair cut, but his hair was long. So, his mom brought him to the barber shop. Alex would have to wait his turn. But Alex did not want to sit and wait. I don't want to wait. Let's just go home. Alex's mom told him that he had to get a haircut and that they would have to wait until the other people were finished getting their haircut. Alex, we have to wait our turn. It'll just be a few minutes. I don't want to. I know you don't want to be here, and I know waiting isn't fun, but you have to get your hair cut. Why don't you look at this magazine while we're waiting? Okay. Alex is feeling nervous, and it's okay to feel that way. But Alex has to wait his turn just like everyone else. So Alex listened to his mom and sat down and looked at a magazine. Alex did a great job. He's sitting down and waiting patiently for his turn. Let's take a close look at what Alex did right to handle his nervous and uncomfortable feelings. When Alex's mom asked him to sit down and wait patiently, he used his eyes and looked at his mom. Alex also used his ears to listen to what his mom was asking him to do. And even though he was nervous about getting a haircut, he stayed calm and did what his mom said to do. Alex waited his turn in a good way. Alex looked, he listened, and stayed calm while waiting for his turn. You can wait your turn for a haircut, too. Alex still felt nervous about getting his haircut. He didn't know who was going to cut it. And it's okay to feel nervous about meeting someone new. Hi there. My name's Mike, and I'm going to be cutting your hair today. What's your name? My name's Alex. Alex, it's nice to meet you. Why don't you come on over to the chair? Okay. Alex used his eyes and looked at the barber. He used his ears to listen. And even though he was feeling nervous, he stayed calm, too. The barber could tell that Alex was nervous. You look a little nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah, I don't like getting haircuts. Well, let me just show you the tools I'm going to use, OK? OK. This here's a cape. I'm going to put it on you, all right? It keeps the hair off of you. And the next, this is a spray bottle. See, this is just water in here. We use that to uh, get your hair wet. Makes it easier to comb. And then this is a comb. These are teeth, but they don't bite, see? <laughs> next are the scissors. Now, these make a little noise, but they won't hurt you though. But it's important that you keep very still while I'm using them. Okay. Next we have the clippers. These make a lot more noise. But they don't hurt you either. And finally, here's a brush. I'm gonna use this to brush the hair off of you. See, that doesn't hurt, it just kinda tickles. Yeah. 
And that's all we have. Okay. The barber did just what he said he was going to do. The first thing the barber did was put a large cape on Alex. The cape would protect Alex from getting hair all over him. Alex felt uncomfortable, but he stayed calm and relaxed. The next thing he did was to wet Alex's hair. Alex stayed calm for that, too. And next was the comb and scissors. Alex closed his eyes. When he cut his hair, it didn't hurt at all. Alex didn't like the sound of the scissors, but he was able to stay calm through it all. Now the next thing I'm going to use is the clippers. Trim around your ears and around your neck. All right, now you remember they make a little noise, but they won't hurt you. Okay. Ready? The barber was right. It didn't hurt. It felt a little funny, but it didn't hurt. Then the barber brushed away the little hairs using the brush. Before Alex knew it, his haircut was done. There. You are all done. You look handsome. Thank you. Hey, you did a great job. Alex did do a great job. Let's take a closer look at what Alex did so well at the barber shop. When the barber talked to him, Alex used his eyes to look at him. He used his ears to listen to what he was saying. When Alex felt nervous or uncomfortable, he stayed calm. And when it was over, he used his words to say thank you. Alex did a great job getting a haircut. You can too! I'm going to get my haircut now. I know you'll do great. Thanks a lot! <laughs>